hard work. You might just struggle in some of the uh, conditions. Finally paid off. Is that is that the saying for the week? What? Yeah, choo choo juice. No. Ho ho ho! Choo choo juice. That's your best look yet. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Foxy. <laughs> You've learnt quick. <laughs> My young apprentice. <sighs> what, mate? No, I'm not alright. You keep swearing. I'd be a lot better if Bill hadn't bummed me in noise last night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. This, this, this one again. You alright? Right, yeah. He hurt me. I know he did. I know he did. He, he, he just went in dry. I he know. was so, you know. And he did it to me the first time like that as well. It's good after the first time, though, isn't it? You know, I can't use any of this. You know? <laughs> as much as I'm you like, can. I can edit. <laughs> I can only edit so much. You can, because it can be like. Save us after dark. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this, the is the group. this is the secret group. This is the one you got to buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> me, Royston, me, substitute. Yeah. substitute. Substitute. I was trying to get a t-shirt done yesterday with substitute. <laughs> the <done>. substitute. <laughs> get one anyway. Cookie, I'm sorry. Sorry, Cook. He's not. Uh, I'm not. No, Cookie, not. Cookie won't be watching this. Well, not now. Cookie no. won't be out there <laughs> watching this. <laughs> Could give you like, no, I'm not watching that. Part three, no. <laughs> no, I could, I could have could been Could have been me, man. Could have been me, man. Could have been me. Could have been, been, been me. Got to say, yeah. say hello to Neil. Hi, Neil. Bye, Neil. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you get better. Uh, I'll be honest, mate, right? He'll already be better by the time he sees it. Well, you don't know, though, do you? He could, you know. Yeah, he'd be all right. Why would you think like that? He will be better by the time he sees it. It's pretty sick. Anyway, it'd, probably, though, it'd, it'd probably be ill after he sees <laughs> yeah. it. But yeah, right. I'm gonna get. Where are the people so I can get told off some more? Yeah. <laughs> no video in. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be one in. <gasps> Number one swore. Number one swore. Number one swore. <gasps> Guess what? My ball. My game. Oh, here we go. Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah. If you yeah. don't like it, I'll take me ball. Yeah, he's going to take his ball and go. I'm going to tell me mum. Yeah. It's just. Go on, say something. What are you going to say? I just told him that by the end of this week, he will learn what you're really like. France. Viva, Le. Viva la France! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. <laughs> Right on there then. Get yeah, them right comments back. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it all at the same time. Oh, he's too he's much for you, isn't he? Yeah, he's probably sick. Typical can't do, can't do two things at once. Uh, or Toby, about three hours, 22 minutes. 
Well, he's not driving though, so he's a pain in the arse. No, I'm not liking this not driving. Drive it like you stop. Oh, Bill. Oh. Bill, you've got to pay the toll, mate. Are you doing it? Yeah, you got uh, Sick of it. Am I going to get you giving it that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Sick of it. Oh, oh you knew it. Bonsoir, my petit fleur. Bonsoir, my petit fleur. No. Turned a leaf. You turned more than that. I don't feel. I've turned a leaf. Hey, look, he's the fucking. I mean, he's dancing, sir. Woohoo! I have to turn it off. I want to swear. <laughs> <laughs> I want a cup of tea. A brew. Brew up. brew up. No, it's not a brew. It's brew a up. tea. Brew up. Yeah, park in there, and then we'll walk round. Yeah, let's go and see the lads down here first. No. Let's go and chill. Let's go on. Hey! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba Hi, honey! On hold, you wee bit. Please leave me alone. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm leaving it all in this year, sod it. <laughs> stay on a Friday we stay in the guest rooms so we do the traveling and we can relax before we uh, start fishing on the Saturday so I'll just give you a little sample I'm sure I may have done this before but seriously stunning guest room 
I always have this roof. Because from here, I can see the lake. Yes. But, yeah. TV. All the bits you need. Seriously comfy bed. Good bits and bulbs, and of course. You have properly kitted out luxurious shower, power shower at that, your sink, your toilet. Yeah, it is lovely. So if you are coming here, try and come down and get here the night and day before you start going over there. It's worth it, especially if you do the drive like we do, it's a good few hours. But we know when we get here, we can relax, have something to eat, chit chat, and you get to uh, stay in one of these lovely rooms. Like I say, it's, uh, it's just a little bit of luxury. We've got here the old Sky HD box. I say TV, luggage, all your bits and bobs. Yeah, me looking rather tired because it has been a long day. We've had food, dinner, cottage pie, which was banging as always, absolute quality. We've all been talking and chatting and Messing about with bits and bobs. There's a Nash air cradle that's Max, which I'm quite impressed with, but there's a few things that I will think could be a little bit better about it, but I do like it, I must admit. Yeah, just want to show it off. There's various other rooms here. Two singles, which I'm sure will be pushed into a double. On suite. TV, seriously nice rooms, big double, on suite, yeah. yeah another double, so it's loads of space and room and everything's tip top, so yeah do that Make sure you get here the day or the night before and relax before you start your campaign on the lake. <laughs> this is where I cut off. Six o'clock. Tea's on. And uh, I'm up, sorted. Still dark outside. But French adventure starts now. Everyone else is asleep. And uh, yeah, what I say, I'm up, sorted, at ten past six, ten past six, quarter past six. So I'm uh, getting the tea on, and I'm gonna help the boys leave the lake because they're leaving early. Well, not help them. I'm just gonna get straight in there when they go. Tea time. Right, what's the time? What's the time? It's time. It's, time. it's what? Ten past ten. Ten past ten. Oh, yeah, so considering we were not normally allowed to get on here till ten. I did think that when we were posting pictures. 
Well, Carl, message me. What the fuck are you on that, Lee? And I was just... <laughs> Beep. I was like... <laughs> ah, <laughs> proper edit going on there. Um, no, but that's that's your luck, isn't it? If yeah. they want to leave early, then Andy don't mind it's us. Enough to... But it's nice that we're up, done, rods Watch are it. out. Yeah. You know, we're not fully sorted, but as far as plans and that, but rods are in. So, so like a cheeky one. Mr. Law. Yes, what are you doing? <laughs> I, don't, I dare look at your phone because it's probably <laughs> something naughty on now. I look at him, he's used the Astro as well. I might have to do it myself to be honest because it's a bit down now. <laughs> so, we got two rods out. You're sticking with two for the moment, mate. Two for maybe a couple of days. So, so, to appease Cookie, it's two rods. <laughs> Otherwise, Cookie will be going mad at the minute. Super Brothers up. Bed's in. A uh, load of crap on the tables and that still. Quite a bit in the van. Mr. Matt. Now Matt, we're going to say is an honorary tracker rep because... Just, just for Cookie? Cause, yeah. <laughs> so I know Cookie's going to love this bit but... So is this the Tempest V2? V2, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tempest V2, I've got to say. I liked it at the show. But, yeah. It's a serious bit of money, but it's a serious bit of kit. And yeah, I really, 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 really like it. And there may be uh, a bit of thievery going on at some point if we can knock him out. <laughs> These are the holes we'll be looking for to put a rig. <laughs> um, rear vents. So Matt's in two. Choo choo juice. There's only choo choo juice already. Matt's in two. Roy's in three. I'm down in the wilderness in four, which is what, what I like. We've got some buckets of pellet. Like I say, everything's a bit of a state. But it's organisation time. But the rods are out. Roy's got two, Matt's got two. I've plopped three out. Things, so. We'll have a wander down mine, I suppose. Better show people. Let's go and have a look. So it's uh, nicely gravelled. Well, more than gravel, but it's nice. Our rod bags gonna stay under there all week, I think. Super brolly there, as I've got ideas about moving around the seven. And I can do that just with a brolly in the bed. Armos up. Rods. I'm gonna say now, bring a pod. Especially if you're fishing this swim pod is the best way to go because I struggle a little bit with my sticks and getting stability and what have you. But we got there in the end after much fretting. The weather it is absolutely blinding. Really warm, really sunny. I say really warm, but it's warm. It's good enough, really good. A bit of breeze on the lake, it looks stunning. Um, yeah. Bents are open because it is warm. Which, uh, a little bit of sorting out still to do, but we're pretty much there. Three rods, as I say, they've literally single baits, two Ronnie rigs, and a chod have gone out. Single pop ups. Uh, no particular area, no particular distance. They're just out there. While we set it up, never know, you might nick a cheeky one. But for now I'm going to relax for a bit, cup of tea, breakfast will be down in a minute. And uh, start getting my head on it. Filming wise this week, obviously I'm going to try and do a lot for you guys to watch and enjoy. Sorry? And uh, so I will obviously try and do quite a bit of filming. But I've got to say, I must get my head on it this week. So it might not be as much as before. 
is I really, I come here and sometimes I just don't concentrate enough on my fishing. And I proved last year when I did have Bill's fish out, um, that when I do work at it, and I mean standing in the rain and really concentrating on the lake and forget about filming and stuff, that it came good. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a, a lot more of me trying to really work at it this week. I want to have some fish. So apologies if you feel there's not a lot on here, or not enough for yourself, or it's not quite as good as any of the other videos, but my holiday and I need to uh, make the most of it. So for now, let's hope that one of these go off and I get back to you soon. Five past six. Dinner time. Dinner time. Quite nice out there. Saturday evening, first dinner. Nothing happening at the minute. Rods are all sorted. Rods are all sorted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matty's rods sorted. Boys still only doing two rods. I've got my rods sorted. Seven out. Dinner time. <laughs> All in the stock pond. Squad has got go on it. Yeah. Oh, is it chicken and chicken, bacon, bacon and leek? Or tea and a beer for Matt. Kush day, kush. Not too close to the water. <laughs> Straight in. Oh, that's all right, auntie boys then. <laughs> Thing. Go <away>. hey. <laughs> She hates it. <laughs> Such a puff. <laughs> That's what his costume was like, wouldn't it? Good spread of boil is what we like to see. Oh, pff. <laughs> yeah, well, the teacher's not doing much better than the pupil. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, get off, let me show you how it's done. It's not where you want to fish anyway. You gonna let Archie Roy help? It's 
stance is good. It's all gone now. No, no more. All gone. They do be that was so funny last last year. Watch them attacking them. Yeah, they've been doing it again this year, I think. I haven't seen that many. All baited up, Roy. Yeah, mate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that where he cast it to? It's <laughs> so it makes sense. Oh, oh we're, having, we're having another go, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> Six, nine, seven, eight. Eight. My stand not too close. Actually, you're going to show Daddy? I'm just roll it out. That's proper margin fishing, that is. No, no, you have to wet it so they like, don't split in mid-air, like. <laughs> she could do that whole bucket. Cookie <laughs> sweated. I was over these So, so cookies, cookie specials are feeding the margins. His bait went this morning. Get a rod on that, Roy. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm not editing that out either, that's staying in. <laughs> oh, my screen's gone all misty. Has anyone got knife and fork for that? <laughs> Roy, you need <laughs> raking out. He needs a colonic. They might be too soft for this thing. What, is that your arse or the. <laughs> Made a splosh, she's happy. Splish, splosh! Uh, have you asked Roy? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and I'm not gonna either. Please. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. How about how about we try with the uh, catapult? Oh really? Wow! Uh Chalky? No. <laughs> Going up, stinging her fingers. Auntie Roy, help you though. This could be quite lethal. Is that him? Catapult. Oh God! <laughs> Come on. Let's get her to ping it. Right, well, that's not exactly ideal, is it? Considering the trouble you had using it this morning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't let that spring back and hurt her. No, I won't. Hold that. No, no, no. no look, the, look. the black bit. Hold that there. Yeah. Got it. And let go. <laughs> <laughs> this is all gold. This is all gold. Steady. Let go. Let go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit further. She's like, it's not, not as fun, to be honest. Is it? <laughs> ready? Hold on to the back. Oh, that's a fish. That's it. And ready. And let go. Let go. Let go. Quarter to nine, Sunday morning. A little late, well, a bit of a late one last night. Watch the fight. It was a good fight. Well done, Joshua. I know there's going to be some people watching this now going, uh, don't do boxing. Well, we did. And now I'm having a serious, well, lay in more or less. But not just because it was a bit of a late night, but because it's been like that for a long time and a lot heavier. Left the front vents open. 
and uh, yeah, it's wet. A few bleeps, I think that's the rain. So, yeah. I don't know what that is. Get a reed or something. Stuck on the line. Yeah, it's been raining for a good while. Hence, why well, I am not too worried about not getting up too early. Doesn't mean I can't see fish, obviously. But. Like I say, late night, did do some photos after the Joshua fight, tried to do some long exposures. Um, yeah, it was quite late. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, no updates, really. Not heard from Roy or... Matt. So I'm going to assume nothing's gone on down there. I'll start waking myself up and uh, try and watch the water, I guess. I think this is only for today, this weather. Well, we might get a little bit more at some point, obviously, but we, we was kind of aware that this was coming. So it could be quite a day of this, but there's meant to be some better weather on the way. Let's see how it goes. Past four, Sunday, and it's been wet. It's three o'clock. Is it since three? Yeah, I was going to say, since this morning, yeah. It's been pouring, and then we have little breaks, don't we, like this? Yeah. And then you forgot to close the vents on your boot. Yeah, like I did. <laughs> and I've been out in the boat while it's been raining. And Matt's just been out and boated his while it was raining. Obviously, he had to boat them out because when he casts it, it's the truth. <laughs> we, we, we won't talk about no. Uh... Not one of them, is it? Oh, I see. That's how we're going to play it, <laughs> then, <is> it? <laughs> We didn't know the sub was fishing for blingy and squirrels. <laughs> squirrel! Oh, squirrel! What's that? Um, pigeon. Boys went to uh, Super U earlier. It was that about 11 o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. So they reeled in, I reeled in, and I wandered round to just past seven. Done some stalking for an hour or so, no joys. Uh, since then, the rods have stayed in, but I've been out, marked up, baited up in the boat, like I say, while it was raining. And uh, I am going to get the rods back out in a minute, at some point. Weather is wet, 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 wet. But there is some fish showing, which is good. Worston's out. Matt's out. Oh. Done, Drink. done. We've always had a change yeah, of. We've always taken away the pod. It's gone to sticks. Better, isn't it? Yes, mate. Much better. Cookie will be happy. Looks a bit sexy. Uh, <laughs> tough. So. And uh, yeah, that's it in the moment. Your pellet's gonna get soaked. Man. 
Oh, is it? I say, get one mushy. <laughs> so, yeah. Not a lot going on. Ros has been in for quite a bit today, but it's been more getting the spots sorted, putting a bit of bait out today. Boys, rods are out, and I'm going to sort mine out in a minute. Twenty-five to six. Twenty-five to six. Matty, me. Dry now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Weather's not too bad. Matty's dry. My rods are out pretty much on the spots. And dinner. Dinner time has arrived. Oof. Boys, doing the waiter service. I want to. I want to record you because when your trip's over. <laughs> That's money in the bank. Can't buy entertainment like that. Nah. Can't buy my dinner like that, because that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... That's your dinner he's got, yeah? Dinner time, the wind's getting right up. Easy. Watch then. This way, this way, he's not allowed to see. He's not allowed to see. It's me and Matt Lewis, the new you hook. Yeah, one, two, three. 43 and a half. 45, what's your PV? Oh, it's not quite as if it's bloody close. French fish anyway. It's 45 and a half, isn't it? Bang on, 45 and a half.
Nine and about 30 minutes after I've just had my first fish, Matt's right rod has screamed off. So, uh, in the fight at the moment. Boss man, shh, boss man's coming. Shh, you concentrate, don't worry about anything else. You can uh, joke about afterwards. Start annoying you, just tell me a F off. I'm just getting some real shots. Here. Oh. Yeah, prepare it if you didn't. I don't think I've got it right, honestly. No, it's cold, it's cold, just. Just let's let him get in, because I know what he's like, I was stressed. I'm just close in on the reel, listen to that sound. Nice and easy mate, just nice and relaxed. Come back once we've uh, I was waiting to do pictures. <laughs> Fish secured. <coughs> I'm not going to say sitting in the cells because it's just crap. But not on the Mungo. Sitting in the cell. The Death Star has just come over and it's gone jet black and very wet and we're hiding. 
Matt, he's at me, even though it's very dark, you can't really see him. But... <laughs> it's not a bad thing, though, to be fair. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? He's a customer. It's meant to be like, you know. He's a sculptor. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's part of the woodwork. He's a bit <laughs> dipper, that's it. We would count as customers. What's the saying? Treat them mean, keep them casual. Yeah. <laughs> keep coming back for more. So, a little slap every now and then. We yeah. shall be Lovely. photographing and videoing next fish in about. Now. In about when it goes dry. <laughs> that's the best you get. In about when it goes dry, is that the time? Listen, that's, that's proper Essex boy talk, all right? Shut up! Boat like a shack! Boat like a shack! Yeah, well, all right, look, that's on video now. Hi, okay. Cookie. Not, not our normal videos. All right, Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's one for you, Cook. Substitute's cool. Yeah. Are you better thank Mr. C? Yeah, I should say, Neil, thank you very much as well. You can, this one's for Neil. That one's for yeah. you, mate. Thanks for going to the hospital, getting really ill, nearly dying. I appreciate that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> say what exactly what you've been saying all week. Don't sugarcoat it for the camera. Don't make no difference now. Right, uh, at this point, I shall turn the camera off. Twenty past seven, Monday morning. I've just woke up. Lazy. Um. So, obviously, you would have seen me have my fish yesterday, and then not long after, Matt have his fish. We then obviously sat up for a while, being quite happy, cups of tea, etc. And um, we didn't go to bed too late last night. I think we're all feeling a little bit knackered still, so came to bed. And then at 20 past three this morning, my left hand rod screamed off. And um, I ran out to it, picked up the rod, felt the fish so I knew I had it on but um, I had it on 
but I knew straight from the start that it wasn't right and it was like, um, like a grating sensation a bit like when a fish goes for a snag you can kind of feel it rubbing against something it was quite weird, I had it on for about I don't know, a couple of minutes bopping about pulling me around a little bit and then it just gave way so I think um, I think maybe a fish with a trailer possibly something like that And uh, yeah, so I brought the rig back in, everything's still on it, the pop up, the rig's fine, it was on the Ronnie rig as well, so um, it's the first fish I've, I've actually, sh say lost on the Ronnie rig, but I don't think I've hooked the fish at all, I think maybe it's a bit of line or something, um, I don't know, either way, it wasn't right. But the rod came in, it was 20 past 3, it was fairly cold out there last night, clear sky again. And um, I was going to wrap it and bait it and cast it and I didn't. I put it up against the side of the bivvy and got back into bed and went to sleep. Nice and simple. So that's why there's only two rods out there. The other one is just around the corner somewhere. So, yeah, it's a little update. I have literally just woke up. And the weather looks really nice this morning. Next few days I will endeavour to be up earlier. But I'm up at R3 every morning for work and stuff, so... Don't hurt to have a lay-in every now and then. I'm surprised my body's letting me do it because I normally just wake up at 3 anyway but obviously that fish at 20 past 3 was my wake up call <laughs> so but yeah so I'm going to find out how the boys got on get me head together and then we'll start start Monday with a bang eh? Last nine in the morning, Monday morning, 1st of May 2017. Uh, a little kind of update and more letting you know the plans that I'm up to. Today the rods will be coming in about midday, 12 o'clock ish, a few hours, so I can have a shower, sort myself out, all that sort of stuff. My plan is to, um, once I've reeled the rods in, before I go and have a shower and that, I'll be boating over to my spots with a, a nice little mix of the um, maize, boilies, crushed boilies, half boilies, some pellet, just just a, a mix of all sorts really, which is what I did yesterday. I'm going to give them a nice scoop of food each, or a couple of scoops. Nothing too mental, just enough to get them digging about, hopefully get them in the areas. And then, um, I'll, like I say, I'll be sorting myself out. 
and then coming back and hopefully getting back on the spots where the fish are happily feeding freely. So I lost one last night. I did some video this morning. Uh, 20 past three, Ronnie Rig on a VNF, the XL Baits VNF pop up. And it, it wasn't hooked, it must have been maybe a, a fish training a little bit of line or, or, or something wasn't right. You could feel it grating from the start, like it, like it was pulling through something. So that came off after a couple of minutes. Bit of a shame, but. That went against the bivvy, and then uh, this morning, once I got up at seven or whatever time it was, I did the first bit of video. I literally put a couple of bits of foam on it, checked the rig's still fine. The pop-ups are super buoyant; they really are buoyant. They stay up forever, and I've whacked that back onto the spot. It's about 22 wraps or so. I know some people like measurement wrap-wise, so yeah, two rods of fishing about. One's at 22, 22 and a half, one's at maybe 21 and a half or so. Uh, I've whacked it back out there, cut the bits of foam, and just that's it basically for that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. Breakfast won't be too, too far behind, I suppose, pretty soon. But it's a lovely day today. It's warm, it's still got a bit of a nip in it with the wind because the wind's been howling about it rained quite a bit last night so there's a little bit of coldness to it but when you're in the sun the sun's red hot it's lovely as you can see if I put my face here it's, I can't really look out there too much it's pretty bright so but yeah it's uh, getting a little bit cold at night but it's more stable, a couple, last couple of years it's been sort of really, really hot in the day. Even to 30 degrees at some points when we've done the first year, I think. And then dropping really cold at night. So we're a little bit closer in temperature as far as day and night times go. And, uh, yeah, it looks all good, looks all good. Just raw, need to work to have a fish, really. Obviously I'm well happy after having my fish yesterday. Again, from the spot on the side. Rather than straight over the back, spot on the side that I had two fish from the first year I was here. It's done the job again, lovely fish. I'm not sure if it's a named one yet. It, I imagine it has got a name, I just don't know which one it is yet. They've got to look at the pictures and stuff. But uh, it was a lovely start. It equals my English PB. I, For me personally, I separate English and French PB. But now they're both exactly the same, 45.8. Yeah, lovely. Matt had one yesterday, not long after mine went back, so that's that's good. It's nice to two of us ticked off now, and just hopefully Roy will get one soon. Baits, um, I'm not sure if I've told everyone. Most people know what I'm using. Bait-wise, it is... We've got the VNF pop-ups. Obviously, I've got their bottom baits as well quite a bit. XL baits. Um, I've got so I've got the VNF VNF standard pop-ups. I've also got the VNF pink. Love the pink, great colour. Pink's always do me well. I've got the uh, KSC which is the uh, krill squid and crab. They're in the original reds, but I've also got them in the pink as well, which is uh, which is nice to have. And and what? No, the fish came on stand bottom bait, but they're good to have. But also, there's a bit of a new product. They've now got these, the KSC kind of hard hook baits. And as you can probably see, they're covered in salt. Absolutely covered in salt. I'll give you a little without trying to drop too much of the salt. Now, there is a video of these on XL Bait's website or on their Facebook page. So have a little look at that. I've had one of these out 
obviously no joys, but you can't, they're not going to be a guaranteed fish catcher. But I, for what they do and how they react and the way they smell, I'll definitely be trying them more and more through, the, uh, through this week. So I've got lots of um, the boilies, normal standard boilies. Uh, I've got two buckets worth, which are sitting here. They've had some of their own glug that they're sitting in. But they've also had a little bit of extra. I've pimped them up a little bit, so I've put some, some crushed emp on top of them. Uh, and a bit of salt on top of them as well. Um, just so as it draws the glug in and, and, and soaks all that in, it, it sticks all the, all the crushed emp to the boilies. Um, and obviously the salt as well should stick on it. Just that little bit of extra. At this time of year, it's, it's about a month away now before the fish start spawning. Um, and I'm pretty sure that as far as the carp go, they're looking for minerals to help them for their spawning stage. So salts, you know, is definitely um, something that I would expect them to be looking for. So that this is my thinking, personal thing, but I think adding that just gives it that little edge at this time of year, just to uh, maybe draw them in a little bit. So yeah, that's uh, it's a long, long-winded me talking a load of nonsense again, but it's just to try and give everyone a, a bit of an update. I'm not doing loads and loads of video, although I know by the time I get home there will be loads. Uh, it's hard to shoot something new and different, obviously the fish when they come out, but this place is just beautiful as you've seen for the last two, three years. So I'm just trying to capture moments and, and bits that are, you know, will go together nice in a video that might be slightly different. But for now, that is where we're at, that's what's happening. I'll say 12 o'clock-ish, everything will be coming in, I'm going to put some bait on the spots. And then for a couple of hours at least, minimum, two, three hours, I'm going to go sort myself out and just relax, let the fish have a, a free buffet. I'll be clipped up, rigs will be ready, so that perhaps maybe even after dinner, once I've had dinner, I may plop them back on the spots. I'll see how it goes, if they're really jumping out there or bubbling on the spots and there's loads of action, maybe I might get them out a bit earlier and, and try and nick one of them fish, but yeah, plan is just to let them have a free food. No lines in the water, let them feel uh, relaxed in my area and then hopefully trip them up. While well, I am here, uh, that fish yesterday and all my fish recently even at home on the syndicate etc is deception angling hooks. It, it, solid, absolutely solid. The, that fish was not coming off that hook, in fact it, it was nearly hard to get the blinking hook out. But the thing about it which is even more amazing is that I got that hook out after a good battle, sorted the fish out, and then I thought, right, I wanted to get back on the spot as, as quick as possible. So I picked the rig up, expecting to maybe make a new rig because, you know, you kind of do. The rig was absolutely perfect. The, the hook was sharp as hell. I mean, literally, I couldn't even drag it along my finger now. It was straight in through it. So they are, are pin sharp, and they're not just one hook wonders. I mean, you can use them a couple of times. Some people won't do that, and that's fine. I've got a sharpening tool here, but I've not touched them with a sharpening tool. Perhaps over three, four sessions or off a good few fish, you might want to sharpen one up or so. Again, they're not mega expensive for what you get. So if you do, if you do throw your hooks away after one capture, that's cool, like because with deception, you're getting value, value for money. I mean, they're strong, they're sharp, they're, they're, they're perfect for all your needs, and, and they're not mega money. So do check out Deception Angling. I know this is me going on, but they support my fishing for the last few years now, but I, I wouldn't use them if, if I didn't find the benefits from them, or if they were no good for my fishing. If I was losing fish, they were breaking or bending out, or anything like that. There's, there's other companies out there you can use, and I would have used. So... It's the same with my Castaway PVA, again, the mesh I use from them and the foam nuggets, value for money, and I don't need to change, they do exactly what, what they're meant to do, so I'm not changing, don't need to change. 
the biggest main point about it, Peter and David, who run, David running um, Castaway and Peter running um, Deception Angling. If you've spoke to them at the shows, and genuinely, you know, just talk to them, they are so down to earth and genuine, it's unreal. And that, for me, always gives it an edge on anyone else. If I can talk to someone straight up and have a proper conversation about the products and about fishing in general, and, and you, you find you just get on with someone, it makes it even sweeter that you can, you know, you're with them people and, and they're willing to do what they do for me um, and help me out in various situations. So, check them boys out. Obviously, XL Baits is my first year on there on with uh, with Sean at XL, and so far it's been nothing but good. Um, the fish I've had, the, you know, the thirties from from my syndicate, which are hard to come by, and, and even the catfish I had, the only one in the lake, you know, fell to one of the uh, XL baits. So the pop-ups are super buoyant. The flavours are good, the attraction is good. You break them open, there's there's all sorts in there, there's bits in there, it's not just bland. Um, and again, Sean has been a very straight, upfront guy with me as far as the bits that I, I want to order and sort out with him. Um, and, and I appreciate that personally. I don't want someone, you know, just saying what I want to hear and then, you know, maybe hearing other stuff from elsewhere. Um, so yeah, all three of them companies on the money, check them out. If, if you're looking for something different, new, you don't like the hook you're using, the PVA using is not doing it for you, or you want to change up a bait, uh, the VNF and the KSC, the baits that, that XL do, they, they cover all, all your situations. You want a fish meal bait, there's the KSC. If you want something that's got a nutty flavour and a creamy aroma, the VNF is, is excellent and they're catching fish that's the main point of them yeah I've dribbled on for 15 minutes on this video I'll probably edit it down I'm sure but um, yeah that's the general update I will maybe when I have the rigs in I'll show you the rigs and what I'm using, how I'm using it um, on there at the moment single bottom bait uh, KSC bottom bait I've got a, a double bottom bait, which is the VNF, and then on the um, on the Ronnie rig over the back is a VNF again, one of their pop up, one of the yellow pop ups, not the pink. Uh, just whittled down just to make the rig sit nice. Yeah, yeah seriously bright. Time and we're hoping for more fish.